Okay, now that we have our Xcode uh, set up and we can create uh, console applications and do our uh, workshops and our schoolwork, uh, what we need to do is to uh, be able to use this and the GitHub repositories that we might create on on GitHub or accessing uh, GitHub um, uh, Git repositories on Git and be able to sync it with our computer. To do something like that, we have to create SSH keys um, on our uh, MacBook and then add that key to our GitHub account therefore our MacBook becomes authenticated on GitHub and we don't have to keep entering user ID and password. Uh, the process is quite uh, simple. It's a few commands that you have to add to add um, the key on your uh, MacBook first. So open the terminal and in your terminal uh, type ssh keygen dash t ed255519 dash capital C and then in double quotes write your email address, the email address that you have on GitHub. So in here it's going to be fsolema at my seneca.ca fsolema and then close the double code. So SSH keygen dash T ed two five five nineteen dash capital C and then the email address. <coughs> so it's going to create the um, SSH uh, uh, um, key for you in users fardat.ssh id yada yada. If you want to change that you can simply copy this. Say I'm going to copy it. So copy command C and then command V and I change the name over here and I'm gonna call it something like git github key so you can name it like that so you know that's the key that you have created and hit enter and it says enter a passphrase if the computer that you have is password protected and you know um, no one can access this key on your computer you can just leave it without a passphrase but that's an extra layer of security if you add a passphrase it's gonna ask for user ID and password it's gonna ask for this passphrase anytime this key is supposed to be used I'm gonna leave it as empty and then hit it again and the key is created so now I have the key created on the uh, on my computer. Now what I need to do over here is to actually uh, uh, add this key to my keychain. So what I have to do, I have to say eval dollar sign and uh, uh, to, to make sure that the SSH uh, uh, agent is running. So put, uh, sorry, sorry, eval uh, double code dollar sign open parentheses SSH dash agent space dash S and then close parentheses and double code so double code dollar sign open parentheses SSH dash agent dash S and hit enter it's going to give you the agent program, uh, the agent program uh, ID, which which shows that the agent is running. Then you have to add the key. So you got to write over here SSH dash add. And what you do, you write the path of the key you created right over there. So the the value that you added. So this is going to be it. You you copy this right down to the key not the pop just like that command C copy and in here I'm gonna say command V for paste and I just add that key now key is added to my MacBook I need to add the exact same key to my github account so first I'm gonna CD to SSH so CD go to users 
Fardad SSH for you, whatever it is. So I'm going to go to that, Control C, Control V. Okay. If you ls, you'll see that the GitHub key is created over here. So using the cat command, cat GitHub key dot pub, you print the contents of the public key that you have. Then you select the value that is printed right to the end like that and you do command C to copy it. Then you go to your GitHub account. Log into your GitHub account and at right side where you have your picture over there, click on it and then click on settings. Then go to SSH and GPG keys. Click on new SSH key. Put a title for it over here like my MacBook. Okay, and that's that. Then you bring uh, the cursor down, uh, click on the key and command V to paste it and add the SSH key. So what happens right now, the S, the public uh, key of your SSH is now added to the mid to your GitHub account. So if you can think of the public SSH key as the slot of a key that you put your key at home in. So the key that you have is the reg the, the key that you have on the uh, on your MacBook. So if you look at this this GitHub key that is the private key over there, that's the one that is on your MacBook. And the public key is the slot which they are supposed to match. So your key is going to be matched uh, by the public key that you have on GitHub. And if it's a match, it means you can actually log in. So now that we have these, let's try and see if we can clone some repositories. So in here, I'm going to go to the OOP244 um, organization. This is where everything happens. Uh, say I want to have the workshops uh, in my repository, and these are all the workshops that are um, that we have for uh, for the semester. Uh, obviously, when you uh, log in here, it's not going to be nothing in here because this is the first time. Uh, there is there's nothing published, but as it's published, you can uh, keep uh, uh, cloning, uh, keep uh, pulling, and it's just going to bring the uh, changes in. So I'm going to go to code. And in here, I'm going to have to click on SSH, not HTTPS, because now you have a key. Copy the 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 uh, path of the Git uh, SSH uh, path of your repository. Come back in here. Now I'm going to go CD to go to home directory. And I'm going to go to documents because I want to be organized. I'll go to the OOP244 directory. In here, I'm going to clone that uh, OOP workshop. So I'm going to say git clone and I'm going to control V, uh, sorry, uh, command V, the, uh, the path that I just copied that I hit enter <clears throat> and it's going to say cloned and everything's done. So now <clears throat> when you look at it, you'll see that OP workshops is here. Now say you have a private repository in which you're working. So um, uh, I'm going to go to my repositories in here and uh, take a look at my repositories and as you see i have an op244 works so these are this is the <clears throat> repository in which i have all my op244 works from the beginning to the end of the semester so i can share it with my prof and ask for help uh, so like this i don't have to pass files back and forth you can simply add the prof as, as a collaborator. You have already seen the videos for it uh, and you know how to do it. So I'm going to go into this private repository and I'm going to click on code again, SSH and copy. <clears throat> now I'm going to come back to my uh, OP244 directory and in here I'm going to clone it. So I'm going to say git clone and command V and hit enter and it's cloned. So as you see, I have the OOP244 cloned over here. Now that we have our repository cloned in our local computer, uh, in our MacBook, let's actually uh, add the workshop to, to it. So I'm gonna uh, move all the workshop, the files of workshop to the OOP244 work. So I'm gonna say move 
workshop 2 to OOP244 works. OOP244 works. And as you see now in OOP244 works, uh, no, not OOP workshop, sorry. In OOP244 works, OOP244 works. I have the workshops added, so I'm going to go git add everything. And I'm going to say git commit dash m the message for it. So I'm going to say added workshop to commit the changes. And then I'm going to issue the command git push and this pushes all the stuff that are added up to the repository on github so as you see over here if i click on workshops you will see that workshop 2 and all the stuff that i have done over here are right in here and this is the hello.cpp that has nothing in it as we did now we can actually modify the pages the modify the uh, the code and then push the changes back up with absolutely no problem. So I'll go to uh, OP244, OP244 works. I'm going to go to workshop 2 DIY and open the project on Xcode. Now in here I can add something to this. Let's say this uh, 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 header file of mine, I have a class in it. So I'm going to put over here class uh hello and in here public and i'm gonna say void run const is the method that the class hello of mine has then um, and the semicolon over here obviously it actually gave me the error so i fixed it uh, and then i'm gonna go back to my uh, hello over here and say um, void hello run const is c out um, std c out hello git repo and std and l and I'm going to come up over here include io stream then come back in my main, include uh, hello.h, and now I can create an instance of hello over here. So I'm going to say hello h, and in here I'm going to say h.run. And when I uh, run the program, I'll see if everything's okay. And as you see, it says hello git repo, so my, my new program is working properly. Now I'm going to come back, minimize this, come back to my repository over here, and repository over here. I am in the repository right now. Present working directory is op244works. So uh, I simply going to say git commit because I didn't add anything new. I just changed the contents of the file uh, and the message is going to be added hello class. And commit it. It will be committed. And then I'm going to say um, uh, git push. Oh, I should have I should have added the the uh, the the modifications. My apologies. So git add uh, star and then uh, git commit added hello class and then I'm gonna say git push. Now it's gonna send all the changes up to uh, GitHub and if I 
go over here and take a look one more time you see it says added hello class if you click on that one it shows the diff between the two so you know exactly the file hello.cpp it was like this and now it is like this so you can exactly see what changes were made at the time and uh, the good thing on this is that because this is a macbook uh, the operating system is uh, unix is like linux uh, and uh, you can do the exact same thing on your matrix account. If you do this on your matrix account, then you don't need to use FTP anymore. All you need to do, you, you push the changes to your uh, uh, GitHub repository and you pull the changes back from your uh, GitHub repository and that is that. But there is one thing that is very important is that you have to have a git.gitignore in your repository and that should be a copy of what I have in the workshops so copy the git ignore that you see in the workshops repository and copy that that prevents uh, 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 unnecessary files to be pushed up and down to the repository so um, I'll put that one on so you can have it and you don't have any um, unnecessary files pushed up to the repository uh, thank you very much and uh, uh, more stuff coming up.